All right, we're back with Scott Morrison, 21, Australia, the Holy City, 21. The Great Pyramid, the Altar to the Lord. As explained thus far from the King's Chamber, out past the antechamber, which is 116.26 pyramid inches wide. And as you know, the key of the House of David is the number 11626. Doesn't matter where the point is, it's the synchronicity of the numbers sacred that um, reveals the genetic lineage of my return to the earth as the Holy Ghost. The descending passage has two lines opposite each other and is associated correctly with the alignment of the passage when Draco was the pole star. These lines give us a precise date and time, and that being noon of the 21st of March, the spring equinox in the north of the year 2141 BC. A close-up of the Altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt. That's what the Great Pyramid is for anybody listening for the first time. The Altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt is the Great Pyramid. As referenced in Isaiah 19, chapter verses 19 and 20. And it is all about the Lord Jesus Christ uh, in his first and second coming. The only way onto the earth is through the womb. Reincarnation has been removed from the psyche of the Christian world. That happened in 553 AD. Jesus taught of the reincarnation of the soul. Jesus was an Essene. Now, yeah, says the word Lord in my Compu Bible, Chris Epps, which is a non Freemason translation. So the word Lord is found in 6,666 verses. Two dates can be proven by this number, the 6666 number. The first is the moment of resurrection on April the 5th, 33 AD, Jerusalem time, and my conception. The same moment, however, in 1943, Sydney, Australia time, when the date changed to Australia, which is ahead of GMT by 10 hours and ahead of Jerusalem by 8 hours. So Sydney time, 2.22 a.m. is Jerusalem time at 6.22 p.m. on the 5th of April. Why? Well, it's the Earth's sun speeds up when the distance is closest on January the 4th each year and then slows when the Earth is farthest from the sun on July the 4th each year. April the 6th, on the Australia side of the Earth at 2.22 a.m., this is 1943, the speed of the Earth-Sun orbit is 66,666.6666 miles per hour. Now, as a Julian Day number, and Julian Day is the Essene counting, uh, later adopted by Julius Caesar, and is used in all astronomy programs. It uh, obviously predates the Gregorian calendar, of 1582. So as a Julian day number 6666.6666 is March the 27th in the year uh, 288, rather 288 BC, which is written Julian day style of minus 2887. Julian day number 6666.6666. Again, March the 27th at 4 a.m. London time and in the year minus 2887 in astronomy software, which is 2888 BC, 888 being Jesus in Greek, Gemma Tria. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It's all about the first and the last uh, uh, letters, which are numbers of the Greek alphabet. That is how the Christ has had to decode the measuring of the earth, which is the book that he reads and has to explain to the world, which is totally deluded and trapped within the book that uh, Satan has actually put together using men. The scribes crept in unawares, condemned, altered the script slightly here and there, 
to deceive the masses so that by the time he is back on the earth in his second coming, this time as the Father, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, not the young buck Jesus, and he is rejected. Everybody's been consumed by the words of the book when in fact the coding is in the value of the uh, words themselves, the chapters and verses, the numbers, and then the measuring of the earth. And the James Strong's concordance is what is holy. All right, so BC to AD, zero year, missed being 365 days. That's why the Gregorian calendar is out. So this is the moon position above Tugum on this date in time, measuring 3126 nautical miles or 3600 statute miles from our home here in Tugum. From that precise instant in time, the, the moon is uh, the chronograph, which is the time clock. The nations. Uh, note the latitude of the moon, 18.84 degrees north, and the longitude, significant, 171.97 degrees east. And the moon at that point in time was a distance of 382,972.15 kilometres from the Earth. Now the 3126 nautical mile measure found within Isaiah 53.2, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, thus the 3126, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Talking religiously, the 312 is my name in English, Gematria, Brian Leonard, Go Lightly, Marshall, rather simple Gematria, it's <laughs> simple Gematria, or we just call it English, 312, Brian 44 plus Leonard 69, 115, Go Lightly, and Marshall 84, total 312, which aligns with the verse, Revelation 312, which says I'll teach you my new name at the end. Now this is the sun position at the same instant in time, measuring 3764 kilometres to Tugum, found in Daniel. Again, it's all about Daniel. 7-9, I beheld to the thrones. So this is about the thrones. 3764 were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, that is the Holy Ghost, the garment of immortality, worn over the flesh body as a garment, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Again, I've said over and over, Yah's hair is like wool. Even from a child, people used to say, oh, you, your hair is like wool. His throne, 3764, was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Note New Zealand sitting between two latitudes, 888 miles apart, 888. Again, Jesus in Greek, Gematria. Now, the sun position to the moon position on that uh, same date, instant in time, in the Hebrew concordance, is seat of his father. So, yes, Yar is the seat of his father. <laughs> As Jesus, he was the father. The father and I are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the father, meaning the soul of the father was walking around in the much younger body called Jesus at this that time, or Yeshua. But it was Yah, the Father, who was walking around and speaking. That's why, as Jesus, he said, you know, whatever I see the Father do, that's I do. Because that was what he was shown within himself. The soul was the Father. And uh, so Yah today, as the most royal man, the king of kings on the planet, his new name of the revelation, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, the name of God, Yahweh, Jesus, Brian, then a girl like Marshall, Lord Jesus Christ. That is Yah's name today, and he is the seat of the Father. So we've got the genetic numbers of 2141, going back to that number along the uh, descending passage within the altar to the Lord. So, firstly, we've got Julian Day, number 66666, March 27, 2888 BC. So when adding the 2141 within the measure within the, the altar to the Lord, adding it to the 2888 is 5029. So then adding Yah's birth year, rebirth year of 1944, it totals 6973. 
697 is Mars Hill in the Greek concordance, 697. But between 1 BC and 1 AD, the church, when creating the calendar, did not include the missing one year. So you have to add 1 to the 6973, and we have 6974, which in the Hebrew concordance is identical with 6972, which is the idea of abruptness in starting up from sleep to awake and arise, rebirth as one out of sleep, says Yah, from Psalm 78.65. So this is the Great Awakening. It has nothing to do with a Q platform. That is a total distraction. And unless they are talking about uh, Yahweh, then they are not awake. They are still asleep to the reality that we have all been reborn into and who has been here all along. And it is all about the timing, fulfill it, fulfilling all prophecy, and then uh, exposing the evil ones and who it is is in that position of Lucifer today, which has to be the most powerful man on the earth. Does he know it? No, of course he doesn't. He, he really is a fool in that respect. And um, so, of course, we continue with Yah's sane, logical mind of God. So we're setting now the astronomy program at um, the, the time at the altar to the Lord, which is the same as uh, the time in Jerusalem. It's GMT plus two hours. So uh, it reveals within the location of the sun and the moon and Tugum and back to the sun, we have the triangulation is 3168. 3168 square kilometers, Lord Jesus Christ in Greek geometry. So this is the triangulation between the sun and the moon position at that instant in time, March 21st, 2141 BC and the area within everything. It's the earth is the book that only the Christ can read and has been for almost 30 years, the beginning of his revelation. Now the perimeter 17947.31 miles around the three legs takes us back to John 2 7 again 20 round the 7 and again the word wrap quoting and the napkin that was about his head not lying with the linen clothes but wrapped together 1794 in a place by itself again in Luke 23 53 quoting and he took it down and wrapped 1794 it in linen and laid it in a sepulchre that was hewn in stone wherein never man before was laid and then Matthew 27 59 and when Joseph had taken the body he wrapped 1794 it in a clean linen cloth now the area within this triangulation in square miles remember the measure of the earth uh, with Yah it, it, he measures either in nautical miles statute miles or kilometres, or it can be inches as well. It's the measure of the earth. It doesn't matter the unit. We're looking at the numbers. Square kilometres this time, uh, rather square miles, uh, 12,237,368. So the number 1223 is Bosra, which means the sheepfold or by analogy of sour grapes, taking us back to Isaiah 63, all about the revelation of yeah, the Father himself, the Lord on the earth, not being able to find anyone worth saving. So again, uh, 6974, Ezekiel 7, 6, an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth, 6974, for thee, behold, it is come. Daniel 12, 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. 6974, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So the resurrection is a period of time from Yah's rebirth, he's back on the earth, and then it's the um, resurrection of the souls that are reborn back to the earth, and uh, they have all previously been asleep, but they awaken through uh, reincarnation, rebirth to a life. Some are raised to everlasting life, that's all those who in their previous lives uh, uh, recognized Jesus and his work 
and then reborn back into this life, they'll find Yah and they'll recognize him for who he is. That's everlasting life. And others to shame and everlasting contempt. There are plenty of Christians upon the earth, or those who call themselves Christian today, who have become a, a tool of the enemy. They have uh, believed the lies of the synagogue of Satan, the ones that call themselves the lovely people, as we know today, and they are not the lovely people at all. Uh, they and they have become, uh, they have become um, <laughs> of the devil, and so they are raised to shame and everlasting contempt. And many of those today that call themselves would have rejected in their previous lives uh, the news and the fame of Jesus, if you like. And it is all about Yah has said over and over, as Jesus, He was the way, the truth, and the life. The gospel of grace is um, a Pauline doctrine of uh, no truth at all as Jesus you look I'm the way you do what I do I'm the truth stand up and tell the truth and I'm the life you live this way which is all about good works in previous lives those who find Yah today you found him your reward is to be with him through the finding of him on the internet which is the like lightning flashing from east to west under the clouds of heaven, hello, <laughs> the clouds of heaven, clouds of data storage. How else would you describe cyberspace, the internet, fiber optics today, uh, 2,000 years ago? Now, 2141 BC, the descending passage was aimed at Draco, the constellation Draco, and was the representative of the Satana exiles who were chased out of India. The time precisely when Draco was directly in line with the descending passage was 12 noon GMT time, that's Greenwich Mean Time, March the 21st, 2141 BC. And we plotted over the altar to the Lord, which is GMT plus two hours. Again, it gives a precise date and time, that being March the 21st, the spring equinox of the year 2141 BC. So astronomical research has revealed that these lines within the descending passage are like a telescope and they were in alignment with the star Alcyone of the Pleiades in the constellation of Taurus the Bull in the year 2141 BC. Evidence that this was the period intended that we start the dating system comes from the very angle of the descending passage at 26 degrees 18 minutes 9.7 seconds. Um, again that is the elevation of the descending passage. For 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 9.7 seconds was also the elevation of the pole star, Alpha Draconis, from the latitude of the Great Pyramid at 2141 BC. The pole star would have shone directly down the descending passage at its lower culmination in the third millennium BC. According to the astronomers, the date of 2141 BC is the only time within the current processional cycle when the alignment of both stars met these peculiar conditions. It is vital to understand that this is the only star alignment that fits these circumstances. No other alignments would suggest themselves as alternative considerations. Again, the descending passage, its angle, and the uh, elevation of Draco at the period of time, 2141 BC, March 21st, shining straight down the descending passage. Now the Egyptologists over the centuries have ascertained that at the end of the descending passage, it levels off and a passage into the subterranean chamber with a perimeter uh, of um, 286.1 divided by eight, goes into a natural formed, God created, very large grotto where there is no light. Therefore, walking into the grotto, one would encounter a pit in the dark where one falls into the abyss caused by the lack of the light of Jesus when Jerusalem is dominated by the Satana refugees. The light that is shining in at night, it is the pole star Draco, in Ezekiel, which is listed as 3168 in the Hebrew Concordance, 
Quoting Ezekiel 8:8, he is told to dig through the wall and to see what goes on in Jerusalem. Quoting, Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, wall, behold, a door. And here is a close-up of the diagram within the altar to the Lord. You can see the uh, descending passage and then the levelling out into Jerusalem, which is Sodom, and then the pit to the sea. Ezekiel is told to dig through the wall and enter to see the abominations. This is the position of Draco at all times seen from within and the blood sacrifice of children. We'll really read all about it as we continue reading Ezekiel. But positionally, this is uh, what was illuminating the darkness of Jerusalem and it was Draco at that time, 2141, and at the time of the cross. Now the 3576, which is the 286.1 pyramid inches divided by 8, 3576 in the Hebrew concordance is lie, tell a lie, be a liar, be found a liar, be in vain, fail, liar, to be proven to be lying, to lie, tell a lie. And in the Greek concordance, it is stupid, dull and slothful. The uh, length of the side 41.213 2 pyramid inches 4121 found within 2 Peter 1 8. For if these things be in you and abound, the word is abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Continuing with Ezekiel, let's read right through. Chapter 8, verses 8 through 18. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them Seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, The Lord seeth us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping, weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east. And they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity and though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Now in the constellations, Earth's uh, major and minor are always depicted as bears, but bears do not have long tails. Lambs do when born, 
and the shepherd docks the tail off. And hey, today the lamb YBS 0286 and Alpha Polaris numbered 1 is above at 88.8 .8 degrees north. And this is the time of Christ, which was the Lamb and is now God on the earth where paradise comes to. The earth becomes his footstool. Ursa Minor, always a little bear. Ursa Major, the great bear. And then right beside Ursa Minor, the Pol Polaris, the North Star. Alpha Polaris 1. Now this is taken from a previous upload, so just to recap, uh, reading halfway down, we have the date of October the 30th in 1974, when the distance to Pluto at, to the, and to the Earth was 31.68 astronomical units, remembering 3168 in Greek Gematria is Lord 800 plus Jesus 888 plus Christ 1480. So 3168, which is the measure throughout all of the creation, uh, is the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, and it was on this date that YBS 0286, the Lamb in the Greek Concordance, reached a declination or altitude of 88.8 .8 degrees, Jesus, in Greek Gematria. This is the first time in 26,000 years. Yah says, my grandfather was 26,000 days old when I was born. And that was Alf Marshall. 26,000 days, indicating the precession of the equinox, 71.18 uh, years, which means the end. There on the right is uh, October the 30th, 1974, when the measure from uh, the Earth to Pluto, 31.68 astronomical units. And that's the instant in time when YBS 0286 reached 88.8 .8 degrees in declination. And the actual time was 4 a.m. So Yah says, now we're looking at, uh, so this is YBS 286 and Pluto 3168 and, and Jesus 888 in declination. So now we're going to be looking at uh, Alpha. When did it reach its declination of 88.8 .8 degrees? So what are the odds that YBS 0286, the Lamb of God, would reach a declination or altitude to peer down into the descending passage? Remember, it's all about over the altar to the Lord and peering down the descending passage when it reached 88.8 .8 degrees altitude. At the same moment, the stars changed positions rapidly each hour. Pluto was 31.68 astronomical units from the Earth. Now, top left there is uh, when it was August the 30th, 1917, when Alpha Polaris reached uh, Alpha, <laughs> the Alpha male God himself, it reached 88.8 .8 degrees to be uh, peering down the descending passage of the altar to the Lord. So the calculations there between the two dates, August the 30th, 1917 to October the 30th, 1974, a period of 20,000 days, 20,880 days, which is 2,982 weeks and six days, but in years, is 57.167513 years found in Isaiah 49.18 uh, bind as a bride and we've got 1st Chronicles 5.13 because 49.18 is the concordance listing for the name Meshalem uh, from 1st Chronicles 5.13 which is the last <laughs> the 5.13 on the end you see the synchronicity of everything tying it in now, it was exactly 33 years later that Alpha Polaris rose to this declination, August the 30th, 1917, when uh, Yah was taken back in the playground, August the 30th, 1950. Yah says, I was 2424 days old when 
uh, taken back to be told by my mother, the Virgin Mary, we were essing and had to keep quiet as the priesthood ruling Jerusalem would kill us. Knowing we had escaped to Egypt when Herod sent his soldiers to kill all the babies in Bethlehem from the birth of Jesus, June 17th to B.C. You, most of you will remember Yah being taken back as the small boy that he was. And uh, he, uh, I put it this way, he was taken back through the veil to actually be back in uh, Carmel, having walked all the way from Egypt. Many of you have heard it over and over, Yah's recounting of that that day. Now, the 3168 Lord Jesus Christ in Greek gematrias were all everywhere woven throughout the tapestry of the creation. However, what is holy is the Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible was published in 1890, where there are 8,674 words listed in the Old Testament. And there are 5,624 words listed in the Greek New Testament. Now, <clears throat> eight as, as a number in years, 8.674 years converts to 3168 days and it just happened to be that uh, Benedict was 86.74 years of age on Yah's 70th birthday, January the 11th, 2014. It was 10 months to the date after Benedict began his communications on March the 11th, 2013, the very next day, announcing to the world, world through his Facebook tribute page that he had finally met him by the email and the events that followed on from there. January the 11th, 2014, Yah's 70th birthday, the day that Ariel Sharon died. And that's all uh, aligning with the Yitzhak Kaduri prophecies. And of course, nobody in Israel will accept it, nor will <laughs> the lovely people around the world, etc. Uh, but Yitzhak Kaduri was given accurate information in the uh, 12 months leading up to his death in 2006. So the, uh, as a formula, subtract the New Testament from the Old Testament. You see that the difference is 3050, and that is the number listing in the Old Testament for Yah, found only once, Psalms 68, 4, sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. So it's telling you that the uh, Greek New Testament has removed Yah, the father, hello. Everybody's expecting the young back, the 33 year old to come back riding a white horse surfing the, the clouds of the sky. It is not so, <laughs> that's insanity as you know. But the distance around the Earth and the Moon, 31680 miles. Yah's rebirth date, January the 11th, 1944, when the inner planets measuring from Jupiter to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, the Earth adds Saturn, they total 31.68 astronomical units. And then the outer planets are 77.7 .7 astronomical units for a total of 109.3 astronomical units on the day of his rebirth at 8.88 of the hour, which is 8.52 a.m. on that day. The day and the hour of his uh, coming again through rebirth and in January the 11th, 1944, the day and the hour was 2.22 a.m. So we've got the 111 and the 222. The 333 is all about Yah, so it's the 444, the 555, even the 666, <laughs> it's all about Yah. The 777, here's the lineup of the planets, and it's all about the Holy City. The 888, Jesus in Greek geometry, and the 999, wisdom and truth, and uh, the fullness of times. So, but it's the glory of the Lord is found in the heavens. And holy, he, he can do what he has done, being revealing himself within the measure of the creation for the last 30 years. For our sake and the sake of the children to come, those who are pure in heart will see God. He is the image of the Shroud of Turin, which was the purpose for the image being left on the Shroud in the first place, a photograph, a miracle. So yes, he wants you to think about the Lamb of God, 286, reaches declination. Uh, to peer down into the descending passage, 
when it reached the altitude of 88.8 degrees. The Greek concordance, again, the 286 is LAM. Now add to Alpha Polaris on August the 30th, 1917, Alpha is 1. So we've got the revelation, 2213 iron, Alpha, and Omega. Alpha is 1, and Omega is valued at 800 within the Greek alphabet, which was the moment of the Star of Bethlehem when Jupiter and Venus aligned on June the 17th, 2 BC, at 801 Bethlehem time. Now, 1974, when um, the, the year, October the 30th, that uh, the Lamb rose in the Greek concordance is a great longing. However, in the Hebrew concordance, it is harvest. So, Yah says the rejection prophecy is what it is all about. No matter what proof I present, the Christian world will never accept me until the harvest removes all who think they are saved by the grace of Paul when you are saved by works. Believe in Jesus is in reality believe that God is love. Yah says, hello, is anybody listening? And here from his astronomy programs, are Alpha and uh, the Lamb over on the right there. And yeah, again, the reaching of the declination, 88.8 .8 degrees, to be peering down the altar to the Lord, the descending passage. Right, here is the time span, the day Yah was taken back while in the playground at St. Bernard's Convent, August the 30th, 1950, until the day of uh, 8th of February 2020, which is Julian Day 2458888. It's 25,364 days or 3,623 uh, 3, weeks and three days, which is 69.444 Two nine two years. The six nine four four is holy. The weeks three six two three is espousal. That is the uh, over on the right there. You've got the base of the great pyramid in its fullness was three six five two four point two four pyramid inches all the way around the four sides, less the displacement factor, which is the Lamb of God two eight six point one equals 3623, there are the weeks there, Yah's age, 2623, 8.14 pyramid inches. The 3623 is a spousal, as in brides, plural, and the 286 is the bridegroom. So this is the prophecy of the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt. It is a time capsule and can only be read by the one who is recorded within it, and that is the Christ. Now, what is interesting Yah's age, 2424 two, four days the day he was taken back to the, um, taken back through the veil and Mary told him we were at Essene. So we know that the 2424 two, four is the number listing in the Greek concordance for Jesus. However, in weeks, the 346 weeks of uh, age Yah was in the Hebrew concordance is asking a question. It means where? Now, in the Greek concordance, 346 means gather together in one. And the 3462 for the 346 weeks and two days in the Greek concordance means to anoint. Hello. So it, it's describing what, what's happening at that instant of time when Yah was taken back. And then more importantly, it was that afternoon while walking home that Yah looked up after contemplating what happened to him in the playground and what Mary had said to him, and he just looks up as a small boy of 6.636 years old and says, well, God, I know you can't be here for some reason, but you must have left yourself in creation. If you like, you can tell me and I will tell the world. So this is all heaven looking down the angelic realm and it's telling you what's happening. It, the gather together in one within the small boy Brian then go lightly marshal. So that's the where. Gather together in one and he is anointed from that moment. And he's 
age in years, six point six three six, we we can only go to the Greek concordance six six three is decisiveness and rigor or severity. But in the Hebrew concordance, six six three means fortress. So that's what Yah became at that instant in time. It was a severeness, but a, he became the fortress for what? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, gathered together in the one soul. Yahweh, Jesus, Brian, then ago, Lightning, Marshall, the new name of the revelation today, but the small boy, Brian, at the time. Just amazing. Now, Yah says in recent PowerPoints, I have uploaded the earth centered universe. This is the geocentric. And the reason for this is in Genesis and states that the earth was created first and the sun and states that the earth uh, and the stars that follow. The earth was then inhabited by angels. So this is before man is on the earth, which built all of the modern monuments. Man was last in line. So when modern archaeologists attempt to explain how these wonders all over the earth were built, the wild speculation kicks in. And most like all ancient history, museums are all dominated by universities, infiltrated by the demons within the Satana refugee. And they promote aliens or Atlanta, or Anunnaki, the list is endless. Endless. Most of all, science must conform to the notion there is no creator. Intelligent design is absolutely proven, yet it is also not considered as science. Now the axis of the universe is where the Earth center sits. The Earth rotates on its axis on a tilt of 23.54 degrees. The axis is tilted to cause the summer and winter seasons when the distance to the heat source the sun is closest to the Earth, January the 4th each year, 147 million and uh, 90,000 kilometers, or the, the, the seventh, the distance, 147 million, 100,000 kilometers, winter in the Northern Hemisphere as Europe and North America are tilted away from the sun. But the farthest from the Earth is on July the 4th and are tilted towards the sun, 152,100,000 kilometers approximately. However, we've got the number 1521 again in the Hebrew concordance and the Greek is the length of the Queen's passage. At the end is the Queen's chamber. Its dimensions reveal it is Sodom, as we saw in the Ezekiel being told to dig through. So America and Europe lead into Greek concordance, 1521, lead into, and in the Hebrew concordance, the river of paradise. Now, the latest addition to hell in the UK is Boris Johnson, Mossad's new Prime Minister of England. Now, here is uh, the geocentric model. This is, this is just, just miraculously appeared in Yard's computer after trying to find it months and months ago. No way had said it. However, he went to his computer this morning and there it is, the geocentric uh, model for him. But um, we've got the distances there now from measuring from the Earth to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, the Moon to Venus. That's interesting. 1.71 astronomical units. That's the length of the Shroud of Turin in inches. The Moon at a distance of 392,605 kilometres. Uh, Mars 2.59, Jupiter 4.38, and Saturn 8.69. Now, uh, all of those uh, distances in astronomical units total 1908, which actually happens to be my birthday, the 19th of August. So I just realised that right now looking at this. <laughs> However, to Uranus is 19.44 uh, astronomical units. That's Yar's birth year to Neptune, 31.14, and this is the day that Pluto was 31.68, Lord Jesus Christ. For a total of those three planets, 82.26 astronomical units, and the total of all the planets at this point on time, in time, October the 30th, 1974, um, 101.34 astronomical units. So this is the moment in time when the espousal male, the Lamb of God, 
YBS 0286 reached a, an altitude at 88.8 .8 degrees to be shining down the descending passage of the altar to the Lord. Now this is Yah's uh, birthday, January 11th, 1944, from a geocentric, in other words, measuring from the Earth to the planets, in astronomical units. We get a total of 101.66. However, from the Earth to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn total 16.11, wherever we heard that before. One of the tools Yars had to use, the King James Version of the uh, Bible, the Chriseps one given to him, being the 1611 Bible. And look at Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, they all total 85.11. Five, five astronomical units and uh, so reading what Yah's written, the planets January 11th 1944, total 1611 confirming the 1611 computer bible, the sun duration in Sydney 855 minutes the day he was born which is exactly the same for Jerusalem on June the 17th 2 BC when he was born as Jesus the outer planets 85.55 astronomical units in the Chriseps program, 555 times the word Christ is mentioned within 522 verses. 522 is um, the mother measure, Amma, the mother measure. And Venus, you've got a distance of 1.08 astronomical units. There are 108 verses in his 1611 CompuBible program that have the word ghost within them of course the last being the holy ghost which is what Yar is today he is the comforter who is the holy ghost and is why as Jesus he said that all blasphemy will be forgiven men if they speak against the son you know as Jesus but uh, he who speaks against all blasphemes the holy ghost meaning now and he talked about the world to come meaning the world today that they would be in danger of committing the unpardonable sin. So it's not wise to speak against Yah. If you don't, if you're confused or you don't understand, just go back and, and fight like many have done. Find his work and understand how it is that he has had, had to overcome the world, the beast against him. You know, it's seven billion people until I found him, and then it became seven billion against two of us, and then a few of you have trickled in faithful you are uh, part of the elect who recognize the magnificence of uh, the revelation as it has been unfolding so this is the geocentric and the planets measuring from the earth the saddest day of Yah's life when he married Lucifer's daughter on April the 23rd uh, term, in 1966 so we've got the lineup of the planets over on the right there totaling 21.27 that's the number listing for Zia in first chronicles 513 the most important uh, verse in the bible it's all about the genetics of uh, Yahweh 78.68 the total there for Uranus Neptune Pluto all the planets 99.94 astronomical units so Yar says here the age he was in weeks 1162.6 that's the width of the antechamber that's in weeks but it's 22.28 years the height of Mount Kosciuszko and uh, you've got Zia and Nicole Zia 2127 so this is Rhiannon and the age difference between she and Nicole 777 days or 2.127 years there's the antechamber with the first chronicles 513 uh, Tracy uh, was reborn May the 4th 1968 when Yah was 8880 days old and then eight days later Scott Morrison the Prime Minister of Australia was born so the, the difference in days between them 8888 days all zeroing down to Julian day 2458888 8, 8, February the 8th 2020 yes so the day that Tracy was born sunlight over Port Alberni 888 minutes Jupiter was overhead 
280 days before, which was her conception, was over Port Alberni for 888 minutes. Jesus, 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 Greek gematria all over the place. So this is a geocentric uh, lineup of the planets and the distances from the Earth. Today our married Lucifer's choice. Yes, so going back to what we already uploaded about showing the orbit of the moon, the geocentric uh, model, it travels from west to east. And if you were to draw a line through the Earth to the sun, you will see as the sun moves up and down in relation to the Earth, the moon will stay opposite the sun position. Only a geocentric Earth, or more precisely, the centre of the Earth sitting fixed to the universe axis, allowing it to rotate and tilt the sun orbiting the same axis line causes the moon to stay in line with the sun. And I said if the earth wasn't there, that axis would still be the center. Yah says if we look in any direction from the earth, there are seven spheres like rings, like onion rings, where the distance is the same. The distance, distance between each uh, sphere or ring is 250 million light years to the first and each after it. The redshift Doppler effect suggests by the red colours that differs one from the other, meaning the further out each sphere is a different shade and moving away from the Earth faster. This is contradictory. If all are the same distance, they cannot be moving faster the further away. The answer is that all must be frozen in space, not moving at all, created in place after the stars and galaxies were stretched out in all directions, then left in place, motionless. Reading Isaiah 42, 5, thus saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein. Isaiah 45, 12, I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens and all their host have I commanded. Isaiah 51, 13, And forgettest the Lord thy Maker, that hath stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, and hast feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Now, what's interesting is that uh, when Alpha Polaris moved to 88.8 .8 degrees altitude on the 30th of August, 1917, it was Julian Day number 2421471. It was a very significant number uh, concerning ER. And... Uh, yeah, just looking what Yah's got with the time span here from his rebirth day until uh, the day he was 888 days old. Jesus is, is the Jesus birthday from 2 BC, the 17th of June, 2 BC, born as Jesus. But when he was 8, 888 days old, it was the 17th of June in uh, 1946. And then they moved house on the 10th of August 1946 when he was 942 days old and again this is the Jesus verse total. 942 verses contain the name Jesus 973 times and it is 973 kilometres from Yah's rebirth location at 105 Rothschild identifying the ruler of the pit of hell to this location the home of the Christ in Tugum, Queensland 973 kilometres. However the 1471 from uh, Luke 2 5 to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. It is great with child from 1722 and the base of 2949 swelling inside that is pregnant, great with child. It's also the distance to the sun um, on the day that Yah was reborn and all kinds of other things as we're tying in now. Uh, this is uh, January 11th, Yah's rebirth day, 1944 over Sydney. Jupiter rose for 642 minutes, Venus for 829, add them both. You've got 1471. Great with child. 
And this is the moment of Yah's uh, rebirth ahead of um, London by 10 hours. So it was 2.22 a.m. on Tuesday, the 11th of January, 1944. But this is the instant in time, UTC time, the distance to the sun. You can see there 147,114,777 kilometers. Yes, just looking at the longitude of the sun here, 63.67 degrees west, there's your Isaiah 63 verses 1 through 6, a feature of the revelation. And Yah has triangulated the position of the earth, of the sun and the moon at the instant of his rebirth. The uh, distance of the two legs there, the darker lines, the sun to his rebirth location and the moon to his rebirth location, Sydney, Australia, a length of 10629.1 nautical miles and 1069 is birthright. And closing in the triangulation, the area within in square nautical miles, 19,435.402 square miles, 1943, his conception, April the 6th, Sydney time, 1943, 1910 years exactly from the resurrection, 33 AD. Again, the 1471, the triangulation between wife number one and wife number three, Eileen, at the top there, and then the Nell Street home with Mary Michelle. The distance around 1471. Now, Eileen's house on a latitude of 33.23 degrees north, that's Messiah in the Greek concordance. The perimeter of the Nell Street home, which sits 5,813 kilometres from the South Pole. That's the height of the altar to the Lord with the capstone in place, 5,813 uh, pyramid inches. The Nell Street perimeter, 888 metres. The birth area, that's at the uh, top right there, the birth area, 22,000 square metres. Eileen's birth area, 31,101 square meters that's the julian day i was reborn on julian day 2431101 and it's also the number of chapters in the 1611 chris Epps compute bible program given into yah's hand and look at the area within 37,800 square kilometers 378 in the greek concordance god will prove by coincidence but 3780 in the hebrew concordance is to be covered with flesh hello <laughs> flesh body of God himself this time, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, Yahweh, Jesus, Brian Leonard, go lightly, Marshall. Now the duration of time between the two dates when Ursa Minor, the pole star Polaris and its sun, YBS 0286 followed it to pass the declination altitude of 88.8 .8 degrees is a time difference of 20,888 days or 2,982 weeks and six days, which is 57.16 years. In the Hebrew concordance is found in Isaiah 49.18, a reference to a bride. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your children gather and come to you as surely as I live, declares the Lord. You will wear them as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. Matthew 26, 46, about three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, a lemma sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, Yah says that this is one of the many faker utterances supposed to have been my last words, considering the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of <laughs> the, the G underscore D, then it sets the stage for the second coming of Jesus when when Jesus, in a few of the statements that are accurate, declared the Father and himself would send the Holy Ghost the Comforter. He declared that the Father and himself were one and that they would both send the Holy Ghost and the Comforter, the another. 
And another accurate statement is the kingdom would be taken from the 12 tribes of Israel and given to a Gentile nation. Now, switching subjects slightly when measuring creation from an atom to the entire Milky Way galaxy and beyond, it's all based on numbers. The idea of the black hole has been promoted as a fact. And as we now know, everything that comes out of a university is the reverse of truth whenever possible. When we look at the Milky Way galaxy, we cannot actually see it as we are in it. We can see similar formations in distant galaxies, be they simply images to entertain us. Astronomers search diligently for a black hole. It's supposed theoretical gravity so powerful it sucks in all matter from stars to other galaxies to devour anything, like a whirlpool drawing leaves on the surface into a draining vortex. But looking at a spiral galaxy, the centre is a massive cluster of billions of stars. The central bulge is not logical, as the reverse is true. Matter pours into existence from the imaginary black hole, but pushed out from the centre being the white hole. So it's not a black hole, it's a white hole, it's the bulge, and it, it pours out from the centre. Yeah, says, isn't it more logical than the spinning center causes a spinning bulge to fling out stars in all directions to cause the outer rim to be extremely thin from a side view? Where is this matter of light coming from? The heavenly realm where creation caused atoms to exist. The central bulge is creating new stars to be flung out in 250 million year spirals. 25 years, the significant number is 9131.06 days and is the pyramid base, one side, so the, the width, uh, one side of the base in pyramid inches. We see here the obvious that a spinning disc flings out stars from the bulge, forming a very thin line of stars. Now the Earth sits 33,333 light years out predicting the date of the cross. The third day after the third month in the year 33 AD, and of course, you know, as Jesus you know, was 33 years old. The solar system moving north at 69,000 kilometres per hour crossed the centre line of this thin plate on December the 11th, 2011 and cause the weather to change. The climate change is yet another lie. Water draining in a backward spiral proves it. And uh, yeah, so the Milky Way, the uh, galaxy is 100,000 light years wide. However, by February the 8th, Julian Day, 2458888, so February the 8th, 2020, the Earth will have travelled 3 billion and 68 million miles. 3068 equals God of Yahweh. Not the God of Moses. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. How many people have come to believe that uh, he's the angry God causing this, that and the other? No, no, no. The God of love that Jesus taught, which is who he was, the God of love, had nothing to do. He came to expose the God of Moses being an invention and the trap. Now, the biggest mistake the Satana escapees made was sending infiltrators into China to establish communism. What is the difference between a government that does not allow for debate and simply gets on with the job of developing a model society to the point of facial recognition? <laughs> no. Even jaywalking is calculated into one's social credits and will affect the ability to borrow money or to buy a car or even to rent a home or identify a criminal selling drugs that uh, that person is quickly identified. Now, this, this, this is an extreme within China. Uh, Yara is making a point here about how the kingdom will be run. He, is, he will be ruling with a rod of iron. But what you have in all democracies are that drugs are flooded into society to control and arrest development. 
Trump promised to bring the troops home from Afghanistan, but a lie. It was the CIA which set up the opium grow growers. Otherwise, likewise, rather, cocaine from Colombia under Clinton. It all still continues to this point. He gave $707 billion to the Pentagon uh, in, in the budget two years ago and promised to build the wall. Uh, but then the Senate will not give him the money. You know, it's all so complicated. Nothing can get done. His fighters, even if he had the good intentions in the first place, and by now we're beginning to even doubt that. However, the fight, the battle has always been because, uh, because of this system that is called democracy, when in fact it is demonocracy. So you've got China which is uh, no democracy at all. Their fault is that they don't believe in God or, or the, what they do allow is uh, Taoism or Confucianism. And these might have been good men and all the rest of it, but uh, they are godless in that they haven't got the knowledge of uh, Jesus as God. And he is the 888. You'd think they'd love that because they're ba ba ba, their number, they love the 888. Just imagine if they find out that the 888 is Jesus and lives in Australia. And Yah has nothing against the Chinese population at all. They are people who primarily want to live in peace. Again, it's all, all the leaders and then the world leaders all intertwined and, and the poor people, as in every society, just end up being the fodder, the fodder for a beast machine. Now, you've got the CIA in the West, other government covert agencies make excuses in the interests of national security, yet they are the biggest criminals in history, importing cocaine and heroin, every antisocial poison possible, cultivating killer drugs disguised as foods like aspartame. Rumsfeld, the dude behind that, Donald Rumsfeld. The latest drugs are so potent that once tried one is hooked for life. Now name a nation that is not dominated by the same blackmail used by the, the Mossad. The Lolita, Lolita Express, etc. We've gone through this. Well, why would Trump be on it? He has his own plane. And Yar is not accepting anything regarding... Uh, he's been given the opportunity, and no matter what he and the, the, the team behind him call the Q platform, the only Q platform that matters are the Qumram, the Essene Dead Sea Scrolls and the hijacking of the minds of men away from um, Yar is uh, unforgivable. Should have been revealed a long time before this. All the world leaders have been given opportunity. And Yar's not buying anything about um, 5G, etc., and people making excuses, and uh, you know, it's just sickening everything that's going on. And abortions, abor yeah, we, we, yeah, abortions, etc. I mean, Trump's being quoted. If you go through the the uh, account of uh, Katie Johnson, it's very explicit and it's pages long. It's all backed up by a witness who was there, and yeah, the things he said to her after he raped her and about getting an abortion and whatever. Um, you see. Lucifer does deceive the whole world. You've got the Antichrist in Francis, who knows that Yara's here and, and, and rejects. But you've got Lucifer raised to that most powerful position. And it will do everything. Now, you know, it, it's, it's a bit like a catch-22, because in the end, Lucifer does have to get permission from God. That's the way it's always been. Lucifer is the tempter, he's, he, and it will influence a vessel that is open to it, and it will be total anti everything that Yar is. Ever since I found him, now twelve, coming up to twelve years ago, Yar has said to me, "Could you imagine me doing that?" Even as a as a small child growing up and growing into the wisdom, knowledge, and stature, and having to experience the um, uh, desperation, if you like, of, of his life and witnessing, because he is the judge, he's got to witness, he's got to walk the talk, if you like, as a judge. 
to be confronted with everybody that's been brought into his sphere. He says to me over and over, can you imagine me doing that? The answer is no, 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 no. Then, you know, that soul is not made in the image of God. And there comes a point where you have to, uh, there's that saying about, <laughs> or get off the pot. Anyway. Now, Yah says, name a nation that is not dominated by the same black male used by Mossad. It wouldn't last 10 minutes in China. Corruption in high places was all the go until recently uh, on in our own uh, life here, 2016, while investing and living in Australia, a Chinese billionaire confidently returned to China as he was well connected. His friend told us to his dismay he was arrested for corruption, his fate at best jail or at worst the death penalty. Xi Jinping, now the leader for life in China, has written four books and is a reflection of his vision for prosperity for all of China. Now getting back to Ezekiel, 2424, 24, the number listing in the Greek concordance for Jesus. Thus, Ezekiel is unto you a sign according to all that he hath done shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord God. So <laughs> it's Yah exposing it all, revealing it all to you. So that when you see these things, you'll know that the one revealing it all to you, he is the Lord God. And then 2127, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall, shall be no more until he come whose right it is, and I will give it him. And this verse, the 2127 number, takes us right back to 1 Chronicles 5.13. So Yah says, with the return of Christ, that is God, the Holy Ghost, all the world remains consumed by Draco, and all reject myself, the Christ. China is positioning itself within the earth for its people, a true kingdom, of advanced righteous development, though godless. The first and the most prominent of the Xi-related departments will be at Beijing's Renmin, or People's University, one of China's top institutions. He, a man who had very humble beginnings, born June the 15th in 1963, he tended pigs. And the way that China has made so much advancement in all fields of human invention is lately his dictatorship. He meets with his department heads, discusses proposal, then gives the order to do it. Now, Yah is just saying, listen, folks, my self-same intention for the kingdom, Australia, the holy city, will never be supported by a democracy. Why? Because it's demon driven by hierarchy called Satanism. Matthew 21, 43, therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. Now, the party in China has one thing that allows it to outstrip an equally large population of India. India and its development and we've been there, is held back by democratic insanity. They are unable to get anything done. China's answer is one group headed up by one absolute leader for life. And Yah says that this is the basis of a kingdom where God, not Xi Jinping or anybody else, but where God is in residence. You can only have a kingdom when the king himself is in residence. And Yah is the king of king, kings on the earth and rules with a rod of iron. It's all good for the good and those who, <laughs> who live a righteous kingdom life. They are part of building the kingdom. So Yah says, bring in the descendants of European Shem to establish the kingdom. These are uh, the, the European white nations. All resources are owned by the people. I dictate how to employ the resources after due consideration by the most intelligent 
within the kingdom. Revelation 2.27 And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. They shall be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. Revelation 12.5 And she brought forth a man-child, that's Yah, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Revelation 19, 15 And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Now Yah says that all nations which have proven technology will be invited to exchange resources for contracts to develop infrastructure within the kingdom. Example, a high-speed rail system, which China is doing magnificently, or develop the farmlands to feed starving nations, again, which China is doing, and drill for the artesian water of 600,000 square miles under Australia, or an aircraft industry, which China is doing, to build all forms of aircraft, or an auto industry, which China is doing, shipbuilding, or my free over unity inventions, of which I have four, built here and I leased to China and, and the world. Drones to spray nature's chemicals that eliminate bugs, yet the residue boosts human immune systems, etc., etc., etc. In the kingdom, ban all drugs, tobacco, alcohol, tattoos. Introduce natural medicines and stop almost all accepted methods of medical treatment. Purify the water with calcium hypochlorite and colloidal silver or ozone. Invite immigration from Western nations conditional upon belief in Christ. And that is Yahweh himself, not, not an airy fairy Christ. Surfing the clouds on a big white horsey. And contribute to rebuilding European nations that have been targeted with soy, hence the non-reproduction and vegetable oils, etc., to cause diabetes and infertility. Start a massive housing industry of super modern luxury homes, interest-free loans. Residents of the kingdom are co-owners, all resources in the ground. Let a foreign nation dig out our resources and in exchange send products back as payment. It's called bartering. Yah says you are all billionaires, why work? Sit back and enjoy, or do those creative things that you really like doing, or you can work if you want to. Some people <laughs> like work. They like being occupied. This is my reward, says Yar, I bring with me. Yar says people who have been down every rabbit hole are led by the Spirit to find us. Isaiah 40.10, Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Isaiah 62, 11, Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. The work of building the kingdom. Paradise upon the earth for all of the nations and the children to come. Matthew 5, 12, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven that is now. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Revelation eleven eighteen, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. Hello? Through war? Poison. Poison. Chemtrails. Deforestation. 
pollution. Revelation 22.12 And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Yah says, ban all religions that do not agree with my new Bible, as demonstrated for 29 years. You see, the revelation of all these years is Yahweh's ledger. All of these PowerPoints, all of his drawings, his measuring, everything that he has written, it is all there as Yahweh's ledger. And the book that he reads has been the earth and the creation. Uphold Jesus as God, that's the historical Jesus back now as Yahweh. Uphold Jesus as God in the flesh and build churches to honour him. It was all laid out within Vatican III for Pope Benedict XVI, the restoration of the Catholic Church and uh, 49 canons or points, simple things that will restore the church. Oh yes, oh, the flat tube. We shall forbid Christ has failed miserably because <laughs> according to the flat tube. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be back with uh, Scott Morrison, 22. 22 and get 23 gets, particularly 23, I think it'll be, um, and the Essene Dead Sea Scrolls. This is the cue for Qumran and the Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs>